I have another NREMT practice question for you. Let's tackle it. Hey everyone, Evan the paramedic coach here. I'm back here with another question. We're gonna lecture on this topic as well. Here we go, hit like, hit subscribe, smash, annihilate those buttons. And let's unveil the question. Here it is, 84 year old female complains of left-sided weakness. So her left side is weak, she's 84 years old. You see positive facial droop, you should. A, perform a stroke skill. B, call stroke alert now. C, check a blood sugar. Or D, rapid transport now. What do you do? Tell me in the comments down below. Drop it right now, A, B, C, or D, what do you think? Now, this is how people fail their national registry. They go too quick, they get caught up. Now, check out this question. Are there vital signs here? No. If it's not marked, please hear me on this. If it's not marked, you haven't done it yet. We haven't gotten vital signs yet. We haven't gotten a blood glucose yet. So how do we know this person is actually having a stroke? No stroke is a stroke until we get a blood glucose. See the answer. This is a very easy question to get tripped up on because you want to go right here, right? You want to either call a stroke alert or you want to do a stroke scale. There are four things we must do to understand any emergency in EMS. One, what is it? Two, what are the risk factors? Three, what are the signs and symptoms? And number four is how do we actually treat it inside of EMS? So, number one, what is a stroke? A stroke, simply put, is a brain attack. We are losing blood flow to a portion of the brain. Our brain is under attack. That's what's happening. Now, there's two, how many? Two pathways of a stroke. So, number one is an ischemic stroke. An ischemic stroke means we are lacking oxygen, ischemic. Okay, that type of stroke, right? So in that type of stroke, we have a clot actually inside of the cerebral artery, okay? Most commonly, if you wanna have a bonus, the middle cerebral artery is the most common artery under attack in a stroke. Now, with that being said, it's a different type of stroke out there. The second one is a hemorrhagic stroke. With a hemorrhagic stroke, the vessel bursts. We have blood on the brain, okay? That's gonna be the type of stroke that we do not, do not give the drug TPA for. That is why when someone comes into the ER, the first thing needs to be done is we're gonna stabilize the patient and we wanna get them as fast as possible to get a scan to see is it ischemic, can we give TPA, or hemorrhagic, we can't, they need a surgery, okay? So what are the risk factors of stroke? Well, the risk factors, for example, anything that is cardiac related also goes with stroke. So high blood pressures, right? So hypertension, high cholesterol, having a stroke in the past, of course, or a, a mini stroke, a TIA in the past. Also, uh, alcoholism is another risk factor for stroke as well. Smoking is another risk factor of stroke, and I'll put a list over here of some more risk factors for you. Now, signs and symptoms. When we're talking about signs and symptoms of stroke. The classic stroke scale that we do, we first check for facial droop. Any unilateral one side weakness. You do your test here, close your eyes, you see a side drop, right? Also the speech, is a speech slurred or can they not speak? Right? So those are some ma main things. Here are some bonus ones. Someone having a stroke, their blood pressure is going to go up. So their blood pressure is going to be high. Okay? The other thing that may happen is it could have a headache. The other thing that can happen is nausea, vomiting. Anything going on with the head, think about headache, blurred vision, nausea, vomiting. And, and if I didn't say it already, that high blood pressure. Okay? Don't forget that. So there are some signs and symptoms. Now, what do we do in EMS? Well, inside of EMS, like we always do, okay, we want to treat our patient. You can give the patient oxygen, nothing wrong with that, of course. 
If we're at the ALS level, we're gonna do an EKG. That's kind of secondary. We're gonna get two you know, larger bore IVs, 18, 20 gauge. Okay, that's great. Nothing wrong with that. If you have time for an EKG, that's fine. Grab an EKG, okay? To not get our hearts. While you're en route, throw the stickers on, right? What is the most important thing with a stroke? Not really much that we're gonna do besides stabilize the patient to the hospital. The key thing is time. And I'll say it again, is time. So we try to figure out what time was the patient last seen normal. And that's the T on our, fa our FAST exam, right? So we try to figure that out and we want to get the patient to hospital as fast as possible. Hospitals will track when the stroke alert patient hit the door, at the door time, to the time they were actually given TPA. That's the goal. So we wanna get that patient into the ER, get them scanned, oh, we see what it is, can we give TPA, yeah, let's do it. Solve the, solve the stroke, good outcome, there it is. If you're one of these three people, if you're getting ready for school right now at any level, EMT, advanced EMT, or paramedic, if you're in school right now and you're trying to get this stuff down, I know how accelerated school is, or if you're getting ready for your national registry or state exams, click the first link in the description, my life's work, my video vault training will get you through all that and you'll master this EMS content.